We put 100 watts into this insulated solar electric cooker over the course of six hours. Then we disconnected all the power to it and cooked some food. During those six hours, the energy was stored by melting a phase change material, allowing us to dump that energy into the food and cook it in a very short period of time while it wasn't connected to any external power. No, I'm not going to give you the look. It's hotter than hell. He'll just hold it. Okay? Yeah. Ready? All right. So look. Here you go. Yeah. In goes the food. I think it's hot. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now you hold that. Hold it right there. And the chicken. So we put in 390 grams of vegetables and 550 grams of chicken. And then we seal it up and let it cook over 45 minutes. And then chicken with the thermal couple. Okay, slide it back on. All right. All right. Put that bad boy on. All right. Nice, it's already starting to smell good. Ta-da. After 45 minutes, everything is well cooked. All right. So you got it? How are we, how are we there? I think no yeah. problem. Oh, the nice. smell. That's pretty good. Oh, it smells yeah, amazing. Yeah, it smells like, like chicken. It smells like chicken. And we pull out most of the chicken and vegetables and throw in about 130 grams of dry rice with a little more water and let it cook again for another hour. There goes the rice. There goes the rice. Oh, yeah. so oh, random too. That's going to be good rice. And away we go. Let's check the check oh, rice now. After that hour, the food is great and it's still boiling. Present game. Oh yeah, man, totally. Look, it's still boiling. You can see it boiling. I see yeah, it. man. Mm. Oh, that's right. insane. It's good food, man. We're going down. <laughs> insane in the membrane. All right. Yeah, look. I mean, that is hot. Why did we do this? My research group began developing insulated solar electric cooking in 2015 where you just take a solar panel and you connect it directly to a heater and heat your food inside of an insulated chamber. And this is really great because solar energy is the cheapest way to generate electricity right now and it's getting cheaper and we can cook without emissions and without deforestation. However, some people don't want to cook in the day when the sun is shining and and in order to keep the costs low, we have a low power solar panel. In this case, it's 100 watts. And this requires us to cook throughout the course of the day. And so if you want more power, we need to store this 100 watts over a long period of time and dump it in a short period of time into the food. And you can do this with a battery, but that requires an expensive battery, which after about a year will go bad and then you have environmental consequences of that and you have to buy a new one and you need charge controllers. So instead, we take this heater and we put it in a pot inside of a pot. Here we have a phase change material that melts at 100, about 120 degrees Celsius and the heater is immersed in that. And so over the course of the day, the electrical energy melts this phase change material inside of a well-insulated chamber. And you can dump your food in at the end of the day when the sun goes down, and it will very quickly transfer that thermal energy to the food. So this phase change thermal storage allows the user to cook after dark and to cook with much greater power than is used to initially melt the phase change material. Additionally, these can be made locally in rural areas for less than $20 and last forever. Yeah, I'm sharing yeah. the love. Yeah, right. Mix everything in. Awesome. Wow, that is warm. Yeah, 96. Hot. Is that hot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it cool down. <laughs>